Okay, welcome back here, folks. Big Nick from Ornamentals. Your number one stop for pruning and fine gardening. Hello, folks. Uh, Big Nick here. Ornamentals back in action. Uh, it's second week of January. We're out here today in West Hartford, Hartford area. We're going to be pruning this Japanese maple. I can stand back a little bit. Uh, it's a really nice tree right in front of the house, really a specimen. Uh, you'll recognize this house because I did all this front landscaping earlier this uh, fall. Uh, so today's activity is going to be to clean out this Japanese maple. So it's really got a nice shape to it, a crown. Um, there's a lot of dead wood in there. It's a lot of stuff all jambled in. So uh, we're gonna clean it out, make it look really nice, and then uh, clean it all out tomorrow. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the videos and check me out, check my website out uh, if you want anything done. If you guys have any trees that you think need pruned, I'm your guy, you know who. Uh, so hope you guys enjoy this and I'll uh, see you on the other side. Hello, welcome back folks. Big Nick here from Ornamentals, Plow King, you know it. Anywho, um, okay, the Japanese maple is done as far as I think. Uh, one of the hardest troubles with these trees is knowing when to stop. Um, I've got it all pretty well thinned out, I think, and um, you can see there it's much more open. You can see the window a lot better. Um, I think looking out from inside the house, you'll be able to see a lot more of that internal architecture, which is striking in these trees. It's part of their ornamental characteristics. So um, Japanese maple, one of the harder trees to prune, very, very intricate. I'll get up a little closer so you can see. But, um, you know, it's a little hard to tell from here, but basically all the branches are separated. Nothing's really touching too bad. Anything crisscrossing has been cut out. Um, I'll go inside. You can sort of see from the inside a much better view. <clears throat> so this is the inside. And you can see up in there, plenty of room, lots of airflow now, lots of sunlight coming in. Um, really cool looking tree. Um, so when it leaves out, you know, it'll be a thick canopy on the, the front side, but inside here where the window is, it's going to be, you know, a, a direct shot into the canopy. So really cool tree. It's going to look amazing in the spring. I'll take, come back and take a picture so you can all see it. But uh, yeah, weeping Japanese maple, um, very hard tree to prune, but definitely worth it. Um, if you have leaves piling up into your Japanese maples, if their whole top is covered with leaves, um, it's a good idea to keep it pruned. So uh, you don't have any snow loads. If snow gets on top of that, it's a lot likely to break. Uh, so that's something we don't want to have happen. Uh, you can see here, there's a little break here that's already healed. Um, it's right here. So up a little bit. You can see that break there and it's already healed up, but that was probably a considerable break from snow. So. Uh, we don't want that. We want to avoid that. So if you see a lot of leaves collecting in your Japanese maples, give us a call here, Ornamentals, LLC. Uh, you go on my website, ornamentaltreepruning.com and check out these videos and others. There's a lot of videos on there, a lot of different species of trees that I've done. So you can get an idea of what's involved. So looking back, you can see still got a nice shape, but it's much more thinned out. So. Uh, give me a call if you need any pruning. You know I'm the best there is, so might as well call me. Um, I do everything but mow. So if you need any landscaping, planting, trees, shrubs, flowers, 
pruning. Let's go. Let's do it. So hope you're enjoying the videos and I will talk to you soon.